guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a ball review today, the Encore Vero X1. Mm. Um, not a ball I've seen, to be honest, seen or heard uh, much of. No, uh, we, we did some Encore testing, but it was just their other models. It and was, was their prior model. Probably a couple years ago. It was, um, yeah. So we were sent these a little while ago. We just, to be honest, haven't gotten to them. Yeah, the, uh, the ball performed quite well last time, and uh, this was something that they were pretty... Uh, pretty bullish about the performance mm -hmm. characteristics and how it stacked up against us. As, as people always do, they, they compare against Titleist. And yes. Everyone seems to come on out on top. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny how that works, right? Yeah, it's funny, but uh, you know, looking over some other ball tests and you know, maybe, maybe it speaks to you know, some other kind of performance. Uh, it's not a firm, firm golf ball, 81 compression on the MyGolf Spy um, compression rating. Right. So you're going to feel a bit on the softer side. Definitely. Be interesting to see though how you know balanced the golf ball performance is. Talks about perimeter weighting has been one of the key features of it. Interesting to extract uh, all the all the sort of performance out of it, make it very very stable, very straight golf ball. Okay. Um, talk about you know 60% less side spin, uh, things like that are some of the the kind of uh, on box claims. So yeah, let's let's kind of give it a run through, Matt, to see how yeah. it goes. You know, wedge through uh, through driver. It looks pretty decent. I it mean, does look good. Cover yeah. wise and stuff, you know, sometimes we look at some of the direct consumer ones and go, oh, okay, it looks yeah. a little bit like they're saving a few bucks here and there, but. The cover looks good, I agree. Looks with good. You. So I would expect it to spin, I mean, it would need to spin in the Pro V1 range to be considered as good or better. That's yeah, for sure. 40 bucks um, is the, the online price per dozen. Okay. Obviously. You probably get it down a bit with the bulk they usually do. So. That's right. The down with bulk and you know you can save on shipping and, and all that sort of stuff. Okay. So, uh, well let's uh, let's find out. Okay. Feels nice. Yeah, lovely, uh, lovely little start there, Matty Boy. Your nice wedge performance. Kind of middle of the road numbers that we tend to find. For uh, a premium ball. We yeah. saw the Wilson ball spun quite a bit more than that last week. It did. Um, it was probably closer to 96, 9700 yeah. on average, which was high, uh, to be fair. That's the highest we've seen. This does look more like a Pro V1. Yes. Yeah, the X I would expect would be a little higher than this, but a Pro Actually, V1, I think, yeah. used around 8500. You said feel was, was pretty good? It's very soft, yeah. Feels very soft. Mm -hmm. You quite uh, like that feel as well, don't you? I don't mind it at all, yeah. Okay. Uh, especially on a wedge shot, it's nice. I think it's um, what most people like on a shorter shot. All right, so let's set some, uh, let's set a full pitch and wedge. Nice flight. Yep. It feels nice off the wedge too. Solid. Yeah, pretty good off the uh, the wedge again. Not overly high in spin, Matty. Somewhere in the middle of the road. Yes. It sounds very soft. It really does. There's no, you know, I'm not here detecting any clickiness uh, to this, you know, at all. Be a great ball in the late season, in the winter. Mm -hmm. it, it feels really nice. It feels very, very soft. Yeah, if you do tend to kind of like that that feel, mm -hmm. I would say the uh, the spin is not low by any means, but it's uh, you're covering the distance, no problem. Um, that's good. It's a good short iron ball. You don't have to hammer the short irons mm -hmm. and worry about them spinning up too high. So it, yeah, as you said, it covered the 140 distance without much, you know, okay. much stress. Let's have a peek at the seven iron. One of my golf spy's biggest takeaways from the ball test this year was slow, uh, soft is slow, but it's also long. Okay, uh, so some of them are lower spinning like yes. this. Yes, and, and that's, that's kind of what we're seeing here is yeah. that the spin reduction is, is actually making this, ah. you know, quite long. Excellent. Yeah, no troubles. It's long, you're it's right. It's long. It's definitely long. It's a long ball. So I mean, there's there's a, a, a bit of a low spinner just crept in there. So 56 on average. Um, 
you know, nice and consistent. Whatever it does, it, it does it, it does it often, yes. which is, is always a good thing. You know, it's never really that high spin is bad or low spin is bad. You just don't want the variance Absolutely. to have to guess at what the ball's doing. And I think you do so many fits, you would know how many players come in with a short and mid iron spin that's just way too high. Yeah, yeah. And they're asking you what shaft to get in. Mm. I mean, the ball would do a pretty damn good job of that. Yeah. Okay, let's hit some drivers. Oh, good. Do it. No. <laughs> I mean, when are we going to jug a driver in this? Okay, Matty boy. So we ran through the uh, 50 yarder. Was was a very, very, you know, average vanilla middle of the road performance, fine, which is yes, good. No, is no good problem sign. with that. Yep. Very Pro V1-esque from, from our testing, if we were to run it back and see what those were. Yep. Um, pitch and wedge was, was nice. Again, a good amount of spin, you know, and launch providing a good land angle. You're, you're not ripping it back off the green, you know, sub 10,000 of the wedge is, is yeah, drop and stop, right? It's, it's okay. nice. Yep. Seven iron was when we kind of perked our interest a little bit. Uh, 5,600 spin was a thousand less than we saw last week, maybe even slightly more than a thousand of what we saw off the Wilson ball. Yes. Generally, we do see that higher compression golf balls do spin a little bit more. Gotcha. Um, so 186, that went a long, long way. And then the, the driver fell into a lovely little sweet spot. Uh, 173 ball speed, 12 launch and 2200. Lovely it numbers. It was awesome off the driver. I, to be honest, I kind of thought, are we going to see some 168, 169 ball speed in here? Because it's quite soft. Mm -hmm. But obviously, whatever they've done with that kind of internal construction, it's able to keep the ball speed on the driver. It's not as fast as um, you're just putting up. That's a left dash Pro V1. That's a left dash with, with the current driver you're, you're playing. And 15 minutes ago, right? So yeah. basically, apples to apples. So uh, yeah, is it as fast as a left dash? No, but nor is it meant to be, right? So. The fact that it kept up within two miles an hour and the other numbers are basically identical, I think it's good. Pretty good going. Good driver ball. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the technology behind the ball, uh, you know, the, the kind of selling feature, this metal infused mantle and, and this kind of layer under the cover. Um, okay. So that the kind of, if you want to call it the second layer deep, that's where the stability of the ball, you know, is, is, it lies. Very right. good in the wind is what they're claiming, this perimeter weighting, Matty Boy. So, yeah, it's got great performance characteristics uh, on, on the cover, obviously the core producing the feel and the speed, you know, seems to be, seems to be very good as well. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have any hesitation, you know, saying to people to, to give this a try. I really would. I mean, if I was going to replace uh, the Pro V1 that I play with the direct-to-consumer ball, this is probably the closest that I've seen. Yeah, It might yeah, be agreed. a touch lower spin in the mid-irons, but it's not by much. Yeah, um, yeah I would agree the, with that. Yep. The other characteristics, I think, are pretty close, mm -hmm. and the feel is pretty close as well. So I think they've, they've done something good here. Um, I'd be curious if they end up making a firmer model of it at a different you know, point that spins a bit more, but as a standalone ball, I think that would fit quite a few players. You know, it's, it's, it's a very, very solid contender would, would just be needing to see some more outdoor stuff to see Definitely. durability, hit yeah. some with it with the wedges, make sure the cover was, was high quality and Agreed. all that sort of stuff. But um, you know, in our testing in here, those numbers would, would stack up quite nicely. Okay, guys, another one to add to the list. Um, yeah, it's been, been a while. You know, it was good to do the Wilson one last week and, and obviously the Encore one this week. Um, you know, there's always new product coming. I've got actually some white box. It's white box season with Ooh. prototype golf balls. Love it. Uh, I've got some of those in my office. So we will get round to uh, doing some testing of those and obviously released upon embargo dates and all that sort of stuff. So, Sounds good. Um, more options for you guys for 2022. Yeah, looking forward to it. Good stuff. All right, stay tuned for that. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.